Saginaw and Washtenaw streets in beautiful downtown Durant, Michigan, First Congregational Church presents Cafe Devo, a biblical devotion designed to fit seamlessly into your day and help you draw closer to Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Hey everybody, welcome to this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. It's June 6, 2024 here in beautiful downtown Duran, Michigan. I'm your host, Pastor Steve Wood. You know my pal Bugsy, he's hanging out over there doing his thing as he always does here in the pastor study at First Congregational Church. And I certainly hope your Thursday is going well. Once again today we turn to our old friend Dr. Charles Swindoll for our devotional thought as taken from his book Good Morning Lord Can We Talk? The book is copyright 2018 Tyndale Momentum From Pressure to Praise Each morning you awaken to an unpredictable set of hours filled with surprises and trials and potential anxieties Many souls start priming the pump of worry even before they get both feet off the floor. <laughs> All sorts of energy is consumed as the mind runs up and down the dark alleys of imaginary dread. Yet God desires that we rise above such earthly circumstances and soar to new levels of confidence in Him. Here's a better way to respond to life's inevitable anxious moments. Oh God, have mercy on me. For people are hounding me. My foes attack me all day long. I am constantly hounded by those who slander me, and many are boldly attacking me. But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. I praise God for what he has promised. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? I will fulfill my vows to you, O God, and will offer a sacrifice of thanks for your help. For you have rescued me from death. You have kept my feet from slipping. So now I can walk in your presence, O God, in your life-giving light. That's Psalm 56. Notice the psalmist's remedy for fear and worry includes both prayer and praise calling on the Lord for help, and then offering your voice in praise for his faithfulness. In Psalm 56, David praised God for the answered prayer he was expecting from him. The next time you feel your legs giving way for fear of something unknown, try bending them in prayer and bringing those worries to the Lord. Before standing up, remember to praise him for his goodness. Maybe you should do that right now. Oh Lord, we come to you once again on this Thursday and we thank you for the precious gift of life. We're grateful, Lord, for your love and for your grace and all that you provide. We're grateful, Father, for answered prayer and we praise you because you are good and mighty and you are worthy of our praise. So Lord, we lift up your name today and it's our privilege to do so. We ask simply that you would redeem this day for your purpose and use us how you see fit. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, that's going to do it for us on this Thursday episode of Cafe Devo. I'm Pastor Steve Wood signing off for now. God bless you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow.